forward to that later on. Elsewhere tonight, every fire service in England is plagued with bullying, harassment and discrimination complaints. Uh, yeah, that is according to a new report by the Fire Watchdog, which is calling for this, they also said, boys' club mentality to urgently change. Well, our correspondent, Catherine Jones, has the full details. Forget about the stereotypes. Be part of a team that really makes a difference. The recruitment videos make it clear everyone is welcome to become a firefighter. But a damning report which names no specific fire service has found evidence of bullying, harassment and discrimination in all 44 services in England and racism, sexism and homophobia in a quarter of them. That's important because it links to trust. Firefighters can do a difficult job. You need to trust your colleagues and if that trust is undermined by derogatory behaviour disguised as banter and people don't feel able to challenge that and there's no background checks, things need to change. Today's report recommends improved background checks on all firefighters and a confidential whistleblowing system for staff to report concerns. Misconduct cases must be handled better and the staff culture should be monitored by senior officers. However, it's senior officers the Fire Brigades Union blames for this problem. Why is it the case that when people make reports they are not dealt with properly? That clearly is a managerial failure at the very top and those people should be held to account for that and that would actually indeed subsequently change the culture. And experts in bullying warn its impact could even undermine the teamwork that is so vital in this dangerous profession. Calling it banter as if it's unimportant when it's bound to be seeping more and more into people's bloodstream and making them feel an outsider and as if they have to do something more than just be themselves and be a good fire officer to fit in. Uh, I mean, that will really undermine morale very, very deeply. And it is a worry when they all need to work together. Today's report is a wake-up call. For too long, unacceptable attitudes have been tolerated in a public service that is expected to uphold the values and reflect the diversity of the communities it serves. Catherine Jones, Five News.